Hey, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. Uh, I am Yeet. Public Enemy Fifty Nine, aka Los. Yeet. We got Jerks over there, aka Elias, <laughs> aka Jerks Four <laughs> Underscore, aka Nobody Else Was Showing Up Today, <laughs> aka Wow. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're here. It's a uh, a new Monday, new show, uh, and we got a. A bunch of stuff we need to talk about and get through on this show. So we're going to try and get through this as quick as possible. So we're going to start it off with pop. Pop. Boom. There we go. Uh, the Apple event. So Apple had an event uh, Apple. this past week showcasing uh, a bunch of subscription services that they were offering. Uh, first off the board was uh, Apple News Plus. So you subscribe, you get all these magazines that I guess people... It's 2019. Who's reading magazines? <laughs> people want to read magazines somewhere. And I, I don't know what the... I don't think they announced what the what the price was. I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> then they went on... What was the next thing? Um. So they did... Um, what do they do? Shit. <laughs> then they did uh, Apple TV. All right, they did they did the Apple uh, newspaper crap that yeah. nobody's gonna subscribe to, Correct. other than really like snooty people. <laughs> wow. And then they did what did they do? They did the Apple Arcade, I think. Apple Arcade, where so that's another subscription, a subscription service yeah. for video games, where, mm-hmm. um, yeah, you just pay a monthly price. They didn't say a price. No. Nope. Um, and you get to play these phone games on all your devices for, f- well, not for free. You're paying for them, but they will mm-hmm. have no microtransactions. So what? no microtransactions. Oh, so once you pay for the game, you don't get any like extra stuff in there, like what you have to pay for. You you don't have to pay for any extra stuff. You get the full game out of the subscription service, and they got some exclusives. It looks like they showed off Ocean Horn Two. I don't know if that's like Apple arcade exclusive but they showed a couple of games that didn't look too bad would i subscribe to it probably not depends on how much i'm paying no i mean it sounded like they were i mean honestly the whole event i I was watching it during work and the whole event was mostly them just going like down the line of like hey pay for this hey pay for this hey Hey, you can also pay for this (laughs) i already paid Um, for but the thing is too they, they didn't really say like hey you're gonna have to pay for this this and this if anything, maybe it's all bundled into something. Like maybe it's like a hundred bucks a year or something like that. You know, if they did a bundle for all their stuff, including Apple Music, which yeah. I pay, I, I like I pay monthly for Apple Music. Right. Right. I have the family plan where all all the people under my stuff get Apple Music for free. All the freeloaders. Pretty much, and then uh, <laughs> so I pay for that monthly, um. And I pay for their cloud service, which is like a dollar per month. Their cloud service? Cloud. Oh. Okay. So you get like you get to put all your storage into the cloud, no problem, unlimited space. Oh, you have that, dude. Uh, <laughs> lately, I've been getting that like yeah, your, your cloud storage you is, uh, is full. I think it's like, blah, blah, blah. like yeah, I think man. it's like a buck. I don't know how much, but I pay it. Fuck it. I need the space, and that way I can always back up the phone. You got to back up all those nudes, man. So now, Correct. Uh, <laughs> so now they want me to pay for all this other service. And then they ended up also talking about Apple TV+. Plus. Now they're trying right. to do their own streaming service. They went from Apple TV, like, hey, we added all these uh, things to it. You can get your um, HBO and other things, like, mm-hmm. all, like, tied into your Apple TV. Yeah. But then they also, like... They're like the unveiling of the Apple like uh, TV Plus. That shit looked like it was like godly. Like the Plus, <laughs> it looked like a like a fucking like a like, cross. Like a cross. It was, <laughs> and like you can hear like the the angels singing in the background. Oh Whoa! my god! Because it was in the sky too. You can see the clouds. Yeah. <laughs> it was so stupid. No, they got uh, Steven Spielberg who just. Not so long ago was criticizing Roma for not being a theatrical release. Yeah, he was he was and criticizing he's the over movies here. on Netflix. Like he doesn't believe the ones on Netflix should be like considered. Fuck that for guy. Oscars. He's now signed up to on another streaming service. Fuck you. Hey, when the money's right. <laughs> yeah, fuck fuck his ass. I don't want to hear shit from Steven Spielberg. Anyways, um 
Um, yeah, man. I mean, they got Jennifer Aniston doing a the show there. Reese Witherspoon. And uh, Stephen Carell. Steve Carell. For reals? Yeah. I'll but isn't, doesn't he have that, like, space... Space, space Force on Netflix? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the f- whatever. Anyways, um, I mean, uh, we'll see. Apple TV, I might be in. See, the uh, the thing you came up with is just bundling everything together. You get it maybe 10 bucks cheaper if you do everything together. Right. Bundle it, pay yearly. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll probably be down with that. I don't know. It, I mean, it, it does look like the Apple TV Plus... Is specifically there to compete against Disney Plus, but I don't think they're going to compete. I think it's probably going to be a bust with them. It like depends. 10 years. If they got good shows on there, people will go into it. I I know if they got good shows on Apple TV, I'll, I'll probably jump in. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, man, uh, that's all I got to say. Yeah, I'm glad to see she's back. I haven't seen her in a while. I want to see all of her back. Especially since I had to cancel my Netflix. <laughs> I just want to see all of her back. <laughs> Um, but yeah, next thing, um, the Avengers revealed their new posters. Oh my gosh. Have you seen all the memes like Avengers the Fallen? Like, oh, they're there so was one good. where um so it good. was it was uh let me see if I can pull it up. It was uh <laughs> it was a, a fallen and I can't get up lady. Oh my god. <laughs> and then it says Avenge the Fallen. <laughs> <laughs> oh Bro, my god. So good the memes. Um uh, what do you think of the actual posters? Um, they gave away who actually did die, who who didn't, well, who disintegrated into like yeah, all the black and white posters are yeah. the people that have that are that got snapped away. Yeah, <laughs> and the colored ones are the people who are still there. I think that's pretty cool because you're establishing yeah. basically like these are the Avengers that are really gonna be a part of this new movie because they're the live ones, right? Yeah. Hold on. Predictions. How do you think the movie ends? Oh, I, I already... I was talking about this on my stream. I was like, I bet you all of them die. What do you mean everyone Everyone dies? Everyone dies. And then, like, as far as, like, all the original Avengers, like, everybody who who didn't yeah. get in the snap, yeah, yeah, they die. All of them. Everyone who made it through the snap. Yes. And you think X-Men is going to be the next thing I think to so. come in I and, think so, and, probably. and save them. Yeah. That makes some sense, kind of. Yeah. Cause yeah, what? I don't know, man. Cause no, he, he they've said this is the end of the Infinity Saga. They did, yeah. So that means it's an end to the Infinity Stones, hence end to Thanos. So Thanos. I think Thanos. Thanos, and I I think I think this is the end, man, for for him. And then whoever I think Iron Man dies. Yeah, I, I think, think Iron Man dies. I think Iron Man dies. I think and Captain America. Captain dies. America dies. I mean, for Captain America, they kind of been like spoiling it, especially him. Like on Twitter, he's been like, "Oh, I was, I was crying. It was so much fun," and everybody's like, "So you die? Like spoilers?" <laughs> so he dies, and then <laughs> now you kind of have those two leading guys out of the picture. Yeah, you bring in the X Men. You bring in uh, Wolverine. What's his name? The actor's name? Uh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Jackman. No, he, I don't think he's going to come back. Bring Hugh Jackman back. Nah, for Marvel, nah, nah, For Marvel, nah. he'll come back, bro. This is the big I'm time. I'm sure he would come he'll back. He'll be the quintessential Wolverine of all time if he oh comes back. Because still, he's still Fox, Fox uh, Wolverine. If he comes back. No, if anything, they're probably going to get their own version of Wolverine. Why? Right? Why Everybody not? loves Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but Hugh Jackman. Bring Hugh Jackman. Passes, Hugh, like, old Wolverine Hugh Jackman, Prime. who's now in charge of the X Men. What? No. Like not in charge, but he's the leader of the X Men. He di- kill him off in the first X Men movie, Marvel movie, and then boom. No, if anything, they should uh recast uh Cyclops because that actor something. No medicine, one cares about. Yeah, he was all, terrible. All this, ever. ever but the he, only good Cyclops he is the leader the first of the X Men from the Halle Berry, uh, Storm, X Men movie. That was the only good Cyclops. No one's been a better Cyclops than him. Let's move on, please. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, Jesse Sm- uh, Smollett. <laughs> Smollett. What the hell? Speaking of avenging the falling, <laughs> Jesse Smollett got away. Smollett. Smollett. I don't know. Got away. <laughs> With 
the false accusations and the false. Uh, wait, wait. Are you saying that he actually did it? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. The guy paid two guys, two other guys, yeah, to act like they were harassing him and beating him up, so he could get publicity. Well, they probably were. So he can get a better contract or something. Oh, well, maybe from the damn show he was in, Empire. Like, see, that show was all about drama. Yeah. And guess what? These fuckers are living out dramas. You think so? So Jesse Smollett got away with it. Why did they didn't charge him? I don't know. Because he has money. True. True. Okay. There you go. So people like people tripping. You know, I I, I get two things from the story. Okay. People are like, I get it. He got away with with a felony. Should have gone to jail. Whatever. Or at least been tried. He wasn't even tried. Charges were just dropped. Whatever. He got away with it. Then there you got other people throwing a fucking huge ass tantrum. That he didn't get charged when you got fucking police officers murdering people who get away with it too. So, God I mean, damn. throw the same like energy. You're, you're getting in no, there. No, throw the same <laughs> If you're going to throw energy at Jesse Smollett, like, don't get me wrong. It's bullshit that he got away with it. But give the same kind of energy to those other situations. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Shit, even more. People got murdered in those other instances. But ain't nobody giving shit. But want to post about Jesse Smollett? I don't know. You gotta do. That. But don't get me wrong; he should have gone to jail, dumbass. <laughs> In JP's words, dumbass. Yeah, he's a dumbass. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, okay, hold on. I'm gonna pull this up on on the on the video. But this these are the uh, Avengers the falling memes. Look at this. They got the John Wick one with the dog oh, from the first oh, one. <laughs> oh my god! They got Alf. I don't know who Alf is. Oh my god! They got. Bambi's mom. <laughs> oh, that's man. These people are going too oh far. Oh my bro. god, they got a uh, fucking Dobby from Harry Potter. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up, bro. The PS Vita. Okay, okay. Yeah, Vita. Is whatever. <laughs> it's messed up, man. Hey, you got Avengers the Falling, dude. Yeah, Avengers the Falling, man. I can't wait. Um, all no, right. Wait, wait, did you give your prediction on that? Yeah, you did, right? On what? The movie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. Uh, Iron Man and Captain yeah, America are going to die and then right. they'll go into the... I, but I think they're going to they're gonna kill Thanos and then they'll go into the X-Men side. Thanos! Thanos. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, we're going to go and move on to sports. Woo! <sighs> I don't know. Touchdown! It's a home run! G- yeah. <laughs> Space Swords. That's Space the way. All right, uh... So, a uh, bunch of people retiring overall, Justin. Oh, yeah. Justin Sports. Uh, so, first and foremost, we got Rob Gronkowski. But he said he'll, he'll come back if, like, Tommy wants him back. He's retired, man. No, I think he's going to come back. He's eventually. retired. If anything, he probably just wants to keep on partying from last year. Yeah, why not? Uh-huh. Just retire. You think, you think he's going to come back after a year of partying? I doubt it. He's long gone. He's done what he has to do. He has three rings. I think the guy said, man, uh, great career. He is. He is. He's 29. Dang, he's young. Bro, but he's taking a beating in the NFL. You know this. All the injuries, leg injuries, knee injuries. I mean, it's kind of like keep going and risk getting injured again. Yeah. Or just calling it quits and taking your 50% knee. You know, trying to live with it for the rest of his life. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't blame him, man. Uh, he's done what he has to do. He cemented himself as one of the top tight ends in NFL history. Um, the guy was a beast when he was on the field. Um, yeah, he was all right. But yeah, uh, congratulations, <laughs> Gronk. Uh, I hope you party like crazy this year. Enjoy yourself. All, all right. right. Next, we got uh, Conor <laughs> McGregor. Announcing uh, his retirement now, on the day of he was assault charges. Assault charges. <laughs> no, I, I, I find, yeah, I think that's way too convenient for him. He's saying that it's unrelated, but come on, come on. Yeah. If anything, they were just gonna they were gonna suspend him anyway. So he yeah. was like jumping ahead of it. The He's guy, like, you know what? I'm done. Come on, man. You not only do you <clears> have <throat> a hot wife. He has a hot wife. He has a hot wife. Oh, I never Pull it that. up. Okay. Conor McGregor's wife. All right. We have the ability now. <laughs> Pull it up. No. First of all, she has, he has a hot wife, has a family, has millions, 
has done the MMA, has been the greatest there, when been a champion, has done the boxing stuff, the transition, when I don't think anyone else has done. Um, so, come on, man. You're the king of Ireland. You're the, you could go into Boston, and Boston will accept you with open arms. Um, I don't think she's a hot wife. You don't think she's that? No. No, I don't think so, dude. Okay. I'm looking at these pictures. All um, right. Sorry, audio listeners. It's... Uh, how do I describe her without being an ass? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. No, I don't think so. That's uh, that's a that's a big time hard pass for me, Chief. Okay, right. uh, but man, you have it all. And uh, first of all, you're starting fights in the MMA with fucking other MMA fighters throwing chairs, <laughs> throw, getting charged for that shit, breaking uh, tour bus windows. Then now he's being charged with assault. Uh, have they given details on that or what's going on? I, sh- I think they did. I was reading about it. Pretty sure TMZ has that stuff. But, I mean, regardless, I mean, the guy the guy seemed like he was done with the MMA anyways. I mean, his whole shtick from the beginning was that he was undefeated. And once he once he lost, like, what was the point? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a idiot. he's an idiot. Don't get me wrong. When he's in the ring, I love Conor McGregor. When he's out of it, he's a freaking dumbass. I mean, do we have an ongoing theme going on here? The dumbasses of 2019. Um, well, what you get? What are you gonna tell me about them assault charges? Give me deets. I'm looking it up right now. Um, let's see. Give me deets. Who he hit? I don't know who he hit. Who he assaulted? What girl? It just says he's under investigation. Damn let's it. See. I. McGregor has not been charged with the crime. Following the announced retirement from USC, the spokesman unrelated investigation. I don't know. So they're just investigating. Yeah. So no charges yet. Well, we'll wait. Uh, Jordy Nelson has retired. His his is a little bit surprising, but at the same time, it's not like he's uh, been uh he's been injured, uh sustained some injuries in the past. I mean, seasons. he's been injured, but ever since he left uh, A Rod, I mean, pfft. yeah. Well, he hasn't performed. Not my career. Yeah. So who knows? He was with the Raiders, right? Yeah. And now that they've got what Antonio Brown, uh, they they've they've you know, and they got those young guys coming up in the Raiders. It kind of seemed like yeah, he wasn't gonna get the playing time mm-hmm. that he always got. Probably didn't think he was gonna get it anywhere else. Yeah. Not enough teams wanting him. So. Yeah. Calling it quits, man. He had a good couple of years, uh, you know, with Green Bay. Some yeah. great plays made with them. But, yeah, he's out and about. Damn, R.I.P. R.I.P. I, um, I, I miss him on my fantasy league, too. Oh, man. Every time I – no. Uh, yeah, uh, Jordy Nelson can go. <laughs> <laughs> Why? He was so life. good when he was with Aaron. But now – Yeah, that. Was, but then I picked him up injured. Yeah, But, you know, hey, man, great career. Hope you have a good one. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, the MLB um, uh, season has started. Uh, kickoff was on Thursday. Mm-hmm. And uh, very interesting stuff. Uh, uh, you know, really good matchups. Uh, Boston getting blown out uh, by Seattle. Um, Houston coming out with that first win. Uh, New York coming out with that first win. Uh, Wait, well, I, I know you gave your prediction during the Hump Day show last week, in case mm-hmm. you guys haven't seen that. Uh, do you still feel like, after watching this first game, do you still feel your predictions are going to be coming true? I feel even more confident about my predictions. And just uh, to refresh people, what was it? like? For so, as far as for like, example, yeah. I, we were, you know, me and Justin, we called out a couple of teams we thought we were going to make oh, championships. Oh, yeah, shouts out, shouts out to Justin, dude. He really came through. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, a couple of uh, uh, teams, New York, Yankees, and uh, Houston in the AL. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Milwaukee with Yelich played playing very well already. Uh, home runs out. Um, <laughs> so Milwaukee playing well. St. Louis, Goldsmith, who I, Yelich and Goldsmith were two players we called out for MVP. Uh-huh. Goldsmith uh, on the Friday night just had himself a three home run game against uh, the other squad. And by the by, on his fourth at bat, they went ahead and walked him because he was just on fire. Uh, so Goldsmith already making a claim, like showing that he's going to be in the MVP running. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man, so far I feel like our predictions 
are holding up. I mean, we're only a couple of games in. Right. You know, it, it's a half a week we're in right mm-hmm. now, so uh, not going to jump ahead of ourselves, but mm-hmm. already entertaining season. Um, I can't wait to, to see more, man. Can't wait. I mean, I wish I was more into baseball, but I don't know. It's For me, it's too long. Three it hours. Is a long like, season. We're, we're not going to get into playoffs until October. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we got a long season ahead of us. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm all for it, man. I like seeing these teams play. It's much more competitive. I mean, let's be real. Now. The only reason people go to the games is to get messed up, man. You know, drink a brew. Hell yeah. Buy some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Fuck yeah. I don't care if you ever get back or wherever it goes. Fuck yeah. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> Having a beer. You know, watching the game. It's just, you don't. You don't have to, like. Like, you know, be locked into every single pitch. And that's kind of like the great thing about it, man. You can go have a hot dog. You can fucking take a walk around the park. You can watch the game at the same... Like, it's fucking chill, man. Hey, you ever gotten, like, really fucked up at a game? Yes. (laughs) Yes, I have. All right. All right. (laughs) So now we're going to uh, our next segment, uh, Games. Games? Pew, 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 pew. Game over. Games. Games. Um, the so, video games? The right. video games, yes. Sorry, so, that's my uh, horrible Borderlands. Boy. Uh, oh, so yeah. Gearbox went ahead and had this conference. And Wait, did my, you see the conference? I did. And this is my <laughs> first time watching a Gearbox oh, conference. My gosh. And supposedly, they're always like this. And oh, let me okay. tell you, it was freaking weird. It was a weird ass conference. It was. It was unlike any other conference I've seen, and I loved it. Yeah, I, I I really did enjoy it. That guy, the I forgot his name, but this the the person who runs that uh, gearbox, his his energy, it was just like so intoxicating. Like it was so much fun. You he, can he, tell. He, he, he you can tell that. Yeah, you can really tell that he really loves what yes, he does. Yes, yes, yes. What's his freaking name? It's Randy a, Pitchford. Randy Pitchford. Yes. Uh, fucking, like. Visionary has brought Gearbox from nothing into the, the, the mother, the great company it is now. Yeah. Um, has grown it. Uh, now people watch their conferences all over the world. Yeah. So Randy Pitchford, really great guy. Uh, goes out there, just you know, says what's on his mind, and people love him for that. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, they went ahead and announced. A well, couple let, of things. let's talk about the conference itself, like yes. just the conference on okay. its own. Yeah. Now they were having technical difficulties oh, as far yeah. as watch showing the videos because apparently all their videos are in 4K, and wherever they were trying to run it on, supposedly it was a laptop, it was not able to run 4K. It was tripping out. Yeah. It was tripping so out it, the entire time. It kind of messed time. up the conference, especially It, it messed the up end. their flow, mm-hmm. like their excitement to reveal everything. But he, they kind of did like uh, recover from it. Because he would then get out like the the people that worked on the game, and then they would go over like, "Hey, tell us like what you did, yeah, and, yeah, like yeah. what you're excited for, and what was going to be in this trailer that you want people to know that yeah, like, yeah, they're yeah. important." And just the way they improvised on that situation was pretty cool. Yeah. So the first thing they went, they kind of announced was a card game. Yeah, it's a brand new card game. It's a it's a board game. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's like your clap trap, and you have to build your clap trap, and then like. Um, People can mess up your claptrap. You can yeah, put stuff on your claptrap. Yeah. yeah, pretty weird. Uh, I mean, I'll maybe try it out one of these days. No, I'm not know. a big Borderlands uh, fan, but actually, toward watching more of this conference kind of got me hyped for it. Then they announced a, uh, a improved HDR 4K uh, new Handsome collection they coming have- out for not only the uh, you know coming out for PC. Well, the Hansen Collection has been out. Yeah, it's been out. It's, it's an old one. But th- now they're adding more stuff to it. They're up it. Mm-hmm. So if you have it, great. If you don't, you can go buy it. But basically, you get Borderlands. You get uh, the pre-sequel. You get uh, Borderlands 2. All, like, with fucking added shit. Uh, um, convenience. What's it called? When they add, like, stuff to make it more easy for you. Uh, quality quality of life improvements. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and and all that stuff. Actually, I thought I had the handsome. Oh, you know what? I think I had a physical disc and I sold it. Damn it! Now I'm kind of regretting it because I had it on Damn, the Xbox. Get exposed. That would have been fucking nice on the Xbox, but whatever. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, they announced that. I might actually go grab that and check out uh, Borderlands 2. Because then, after all the damn visual shit, they finally showed a good trailer of Borderlands 3. And that shit did look pretty cool. Well, I ended up watching it on Twitter because while they were doing the conference, like the other um, people were like uh, releasing them on Twitter. Mm-hmm. So once like the second time they couldn't get it going, I found it on Twitter. I just watched it like Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah, it took them a couple of tries before they got it. I just stuck around. But yeah, it was pretty cool, man. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm not a big Borderlands uh, fan, but mm-hmm. watching that trailer, I might have to get the Handsome Collection to see what the all the ruckus is about because they're... Their fans are freaking hardcore, and uh, and it has co-op too, so we'll see. I might jump into that. Um, mm-hmm. Anything else you want to say about Borderlands 3? Uh, not excited for it. I don't care for this game series. I don't care at all. All right. I don't like the, the, the style it's in. I don't understand why it's so hyped. Maybe because it was like wow. probably one of the earliest looter shooters before yeah. that became a real term. Correct. But... No, I don't care but about But they this did game. it well, man. People put out looter shooters they, and they can't they, get the system they right. They put in the trailer like, the oh, algorithm. there's like a billion guns. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm over here struggling with the Divisions 2 loot. And I'm like just deleting everything. Just imagine having to delete all that shit. Like, no. You might have a point there. Um, all right. Next thing is um, the Wall Street Journal reports that uh, Nintendo Ooh. has... Different, more than one model coming out later this year. So they announced that basically they re- reported it's a rumor that supposedly there's a uh, Switch Mini. Yeah, I and think, then a Switch yeah. Pro. Now those may not be the names, but basically those are the instance of it. Yeah, of a, a cheaper Switch. I'm guessing a smaller size. Yeah, and a more expensive Switch. That supposedly no. has oh, okay. Go ahead. 1080p maybe capabilities, it, even in handheld. It doesn't have 1080p right now? No, 720p is the most it goes on handheld. But, oh. <laughs> but you can't even tell, right? It's like, no. yeah. But supposedly you'll be uh, more powerful, so hence could run those difficult games better. And no. uh, yeah, we'll have, um, we'll have uh, yeah, 1080p on handheld. So what do you think, man? All right, this is really not surprising. I think we, we we've been hearing these rumors since last year. We have, yes. Um, I think the 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 lower end a switch coming is supposed to be replacing the DS. Correct, since the DS is just on its last legs yeah. of this year. So I think um, that's that's replacing the. I DS. think the only new game that hasn't been released yet is Persona Q Two, oh, okay. which originally the first one came out for 3DS. I think that one's coming out later this year. Other than that, nothing beyond that. Okay. So, and, but the other thing too is that supposedly, like, uh, on kind of funny. What's his name? Greg? No, Greg, not Greg. Uh, Tim. Tim Miller. Yeah. Is it Tim? Tim uh, Gettys. Tim Gettys. Yeah. He said something. I think I think it was him that said that they're probably do- pushing the two new systems. One for the for a cheaper version, but also to throw that to the household since they're gonna be pushing out Pokemon. Uh, shield and sword so you're gonna want a household at least to have the both of the both of the different versions so how do you get like a brother and sister to have both versions and play at the same time versus mm-hmm. just like spending all that money on the switch which is like what 300 dollars right now correct you get a cheaper version of the switch hey man if there's a 199 version of the switch and let's say you know it it probably doesn't have rumble right Cause that's a future that. Oh, you talking about the joysticks? The yeah, the, the, the HD Rumble. The Joy-Cons on here. But see, I don't know, man. That'd be weird. Like, they'll just sell it the those no, Joy-Cons I think, without Rumbles, I think, and then they. I think that's what they're gonna do. I mean, the whole point of selling the cheaper a smaller version, one it's too? gonna it's gonna be missing some of the features. Yeah, yeah, correct. So taking out but the I'm, Rumble I'm is to, it's yeah, like fine. Uh, I'm correct. Not, yeah, like, no, I, I don't think it. But there are some games that use it. But anyways, no, yeah, I could see it. Smaller version, no dock. No dock. Doesn't come with the dock. Nope. And no AC rumble. I could easily see that going for one ninety nine. And then But then again, that switch has been out for what, two years now? Yeah. And this and it hasn't dropped in price they yet. They have not dropped it once in price. Nope. Now they bundled it a couple of times where yeah. you buy it in a bundle and yeah, it comes with a game. Yeah. Um, but 
no price drop. And I feel like this is the perfect thing for them to do and keep that switch at, at, at two ninety nine. So you think you think the the switches out now are gonna get a price drop? No. No? No. They stay at two ninety nine. The cheaper one is one ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And then the HD Pro, I mean the Switch Pro mm. that has all, could run all the hard shit, no problem. I think that's going to be the 399 I don't know. I don't think I'm going to agree with that because this late in the cycle for the system, you're going to sell something. It's only two years it, in. It's not an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro though. It's not. But don't, like, you know, there's certain like their enhancements. Their enhancements are not even like... Even the basic one is not up to the the basic Xbox or PS4. You're right, it's so, not. So I don't know. I don't see that happening, but I don't know. Uh, well, a cheaper one is more likely, no doubt. Yeah. But I do think that they want at least to see if uh, I I think they want to test the market. Okay. Because they okay. did it with the with the 3DS when no one thought really much of the 3DS. They went ahead and did a new Nintendo 3DS that had. That could run games that the other systems couldn't, only oh, no. even though it's like a handful of games. Uh, faster processing, uh, faster load. So they did this with a 3DS already. So I don't see why they wouldn't do it with one of the most successful systems of all time. Okay. I don't know. I just don't think they're going to be dropping, I mean, raising the price. If anything, it's going to come in at 300 and then they'll drop the one that's out now to 250 or something stupid like that. Nah, I think it'll be if you want. Like, I think it'll be a three ninety nine system, man. <laughs> I think that's what they're going at the four hundred bucks. Hey, for three ninety nine, shit, that's expensive for a switch. Yeah. Now this switch, it better have the fucking Bluetooth. It better have proper connections to play with your friends. No, no, you know what? Anything before all that, they need to fix their online play. Like, yeah, it's it's not fun. Still... They need to go back. And fix their fucking friend code shit. What the hell is that? I gotta give you my fucking government numbers. Fucking play with you. That's stupid. You have a point. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Nah, you have a point, man. Their uh, their online system is still. No one's jumping on. It's been out since what November. Yeah. No one's jumped on and been like, oh yeah, let's support. You know, let's do the Nintendo Switch support online. Yeah. I really thought more developers were gonna take advantage of it. Mm But the only one who has is Nintendo. Oh. No one else has done anything with that Nintendo Switch online. And it's a shame. But uh, um, Oh, really quick on the Nintendo side. Um, uh, uh, shameless self-promotion coming in real quick for the people watching on YouTube. Um, if you go to Twitch and you have Amazon Prime, you can get the uh, Switch online service for free. Correct. So... If you guys have a Switch, you don't have the online service, you don't want to shove out the very expensive $20, you just go here. There you go. Congratulations. Boom. For free. <laughs> um, another thing in gaming news, um, Sega Genesis. Now, you just brought this up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with this, but you, Bro, t- you gave me the cliff notes. Look it up. <laughs> look it up. So Sega announced on Saturday that Today. they are coming out. September 19, 2019, with their own Sega Genesis Mini. It comes with 40 of the console's legendary titles. Versus what PlayStation's was? Like 20? Uh, yeah, PlayStation uh, uh, At $100? 20, yeah, uh, and <laughs> Super Nintendo was what? 20 also, right? No. No. I think it was a little bit more than that, wasn't it? I think it was like 20, 25, but they were like blockbusters. All, almost all of them were like hits. Yeah, the SNES uh, Mini, right? SNES, uh, yeah, Mini. So Sega Genesis coming out September 19, seventy nine ninety nine, eighty dollars $80. Yeah. Now, that's kind of normal. It's what uh, the SNES Mini came out for. It's what the PlayStation uh, Mini came out for. So and so far, forty titles. That's I think more than any of the other systems. Oh, it came with twenty-one games. <laughs> yeah, uh, but they were like I said, they were all blockbusters. But yeah. so far, they, uh, Sega has announced ten of the games, and I'll just name off some of the some of the hits. Echo the Dolphin. That was a fucking badass game. Uh, Castlevania Bloodlines. Not the best Castlevania, but it's pretty solid. Uh, Shining Force. Never played it, but I hear good things. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Who hasn't played that? Um, Altered Beast, 
not the greatest game, but for some reason it's a cold favorite. <laughs> Toll Jam and Earl, another uh, favorite game, and a couple of other games on there. So that's just 10 of the 40, and they already got some good hits on there. Uh, $80. It looks pretty nice. Looks pretty sleek. Um, apparently there's a difference between the U.S. and the Japanese version. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm yeah, pretty sure the releases, Japan it, has some... Uh, the Genesis Mini and Mega Drive will have slightly different game lineups when released. The Japanese version will include the Castlevania Bloodlines, Comic Zone, Gunstar Heroes, Madua... I know, I don't, I'm not going to butcher that. Uh, Powerball, <laughs> Puyo, Puyo 2, Rena Hero, Shining Force, Sonic 2, Space Harrier 2. Yeah, Puyo Puyo yeah. and that other name that you fucked up, not on the U.S. release. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, this is slated to come out September 19th. Yep. 2019. It's going down. Uh, are you going to buy it? Absolutely not. I probably will. Will you guys buy it? Let us know. Uh, and last last uh, uh, thing of the show, uh, PlayStation had their own Nintendo Direct type broadcast. What? And uh, they went ahead and announced... A couple of games, stuff that coming out for the spring, mainly uh, VR games. Okay. Um, so first thing that pops up is um, freaking Iron Man VR. Look terrible. Uh huh. Terrible. Oh wow. Um, then uh, they they showed a new clip for uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, which I think looks pretty badass. I am excited to get that. Um, no Man's Sky gets. Full VR support. Uh, so No Man's Sky has fixed their game. This summer they've well, announced Beyond. Okay, No Man's Sky. I'm a huge No Man's Sky fan, so let me get into this one. Um, all right, No Man's Sky had the next update, which is started off their huge like move to fucking fixing the game. And it's like, yeah, uh, uh, basically, um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, No Man's Sky next yeah. fixed all the issues that they had, right? Right. Now Beyond is taking Here, that a step I'm a, further. I'm going to let them watch the VR version of gotcha. Iron Person. Um, and the next the next uh, update called Beyond makes it more of a MMO type, even though they're saying it's not an MMO. But basically, you're going to run across people. You're going to, no, you know. Well, okay, right now, you can actually like see people, talk to people, hang out. Correct. But with this next update, it's called the Beyond update. Like, it's supposed to add on top of that. Correct. And now they're adding the VR support. Supposedly, well, I don't know for sure yet. But right now, it's only slated for the PS4 VR. Correct. I am praying it comes to the PC That'll side. That'll be tight. That'll be tight. I'm praying it comes because That'll it be didn't, tight. they didn't say exclusivity. See, I'm, I'm... They didn't say another thing like that. Oh, please. Come I to dropped the PC off side. of uh, No Man's Sky. Because they kind of did burn me at the beginning. I sp- I bought spent $60 on the game, and I expected what they were saying, and they didn't kind of deliver that. But now um, I've seen what they've, the work they've done on it, and now with this VR update, which I do have the PlayStation VR, and you could play the whole game like that, bruh. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm in, man. Just fucking VR, fucking fly around. Who fucking knows? <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, but they also do have one last announcement, which I imagine is an E3. Um, why mm-hmm. not? What do you um, mean? Because they and they have a uh, they showed a like you announcement talk, map. You, you talking about a uh, No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No Man's Sky hasn't come out completely with what is in. Yeah. This there's Beyond still something update. left, and there's still yeah, if they're saving left. it for last, it must be pretty big. I hope so. Yeah. So. I hope um, so. Now, uh, Ready Set Heroes was the next thing. It's a dungeon crawling. Uh, you can like co-op play with that game and like run through dungeons with other people and loot. Uh, kind of a cartoonish uh, aesthetic to it, but it looked all right. Would I play it? Probably not. Uh, a cool thing they showed was a, P- a VR game of Blood and Truth. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, well. <sighs> Well, only thing about those situations is that I don't have the PS4 VR, which I, I do praise. Like I, I played it at your house, and, and I, I do like it. It's pretty cool. But uh, I think having this type of game, it's them really trying to push <clears throat> people to go get the VR. Like, of course, it's yeah. Not, it, they're like, it's not just a gimmick. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> no, and I'm excited for Blood and Truth because you're right. There hasn't been – there's been a lot of like – for example, Beat Saber come out on the PSVR. Uh, store like platformer uh, was uh, Astrobot. 
you know, Resident Evil 7 was VR, but they haven't had something really dedicated to the PlayStation VR and like mm -hmm. story driven. Yeah. Uh, and so this looks like very much story driven. I'm excited to see what it's about. It comes out May 28th. So I'll keep looking at it. I may wait for reviews, but check it out. But story driven VR, I'm kind of in. Um, observation. Uh, observation is that the one where you're you're the ship, right? Yes. Yeah, that one looked really interesting. That one looks super cool, space uh, I'm, centric. I'm trying to find these videos, but I can't find that one. Go to the PlayStation blog; they're all on there. Oh, okay. Uh, no, but, but go ahead and talk about it. Uh, yeah, man. Observation looks super cool. Um, it also another like I didn't get too much from the trailer. People are saying that yeah, you're you're the actually the spaceship and shit. But the trailer in itself, the visuals of the trailer is what got me like, damn, this, this shit looks tight. Like, I've never, you know, closest thing I've gotten to space in VR is like uh, the Battlefront 2 VR experience. So, I'm excited to see what this is about. Um, okay. They I'll, also, I'll pull it up for them. They also announced uh, Five Nights at Freddy's VR. I um, mean... <sighs> Yeah, I mean, it's a scary game I don't understand VR. this game. I don't understand how it's so popular. You I don't get it either. You literally just do nothing, check cameras, and hope that one of those stupid robot bears don't pop up in front of you. I don't know, man. Why is me. it so popular? Don't ask me. It's a mobile game. Started out the Five Nights series, and it's just gotten super fucking huge. I, I think a lot of kids play it, man, to be honest. I'm sure that's what it is. I mean, if anybody, like plays it that's not a kid that watches this please let us know right in the comments what the hell is it yeah why why but is yeah, it so popular that's coming out for vr um then they went in more into concrete genie the story trailer um mm -hmm. uh, basically showed some more stuff on that i i can get why people would be interested in this game it does look uh you know some visual stuff about it looks cool the neon of it but Nothing about it makes me want to go like, yeah, I can't wait to play with this game. So it's the one with the little kid with the yeah, brush, getting right? bullied and he he draws things and they come to life. I don't know, some shit like that. Oh, yeah, but yeah, not not a big fan. <laughs> no, I don't hate it, just don't like it either. Uh, then they show. Are you some gonna get stuff. it though? No. You sure? Pretty sure. You get a lot of these games. Uh, some of them, not not a concrete genie, not Five Nights. Uh, uh, then uh, they went into a trailer for Days Gone. Okay, yeah. Looks pretty cool. I've heard back and forth things about Days Gone from people who've played it. Some say it's pretty a generic open world game. Other people say it's, they can't wait to go back and play more. So I, I think I'm going to wait on that until I see reviews. Then I'll decide whether I want to like chunk some cash at it. But we'll see. Um... And then last thing, they showed another uh, uh, trailer for Mortal Kombat. Uh, they showed some new characters that weren't that hadn't been seen before. Uh, so yeah, Mortal Kombat Eleven. Yeah, they showed Jax. What'd you think of the trailer? I thought it was pretty freaking cool, dude. It was pretty cool, but I was kind of disappointed to see it in the PlayStation broadcast. Mm, like yeah, like I don't know. Like yeah, Mortal Kombat is cool, but we already know about that. I kind of want to hear about something I don't know about it, and to save it for last was kind of like weird. Like why not put that at the beginning, right? I yeah. Don't know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, overall. Yeah, I was about to ask you. Now, a lot of people on Twitter that are not Sony ponies did not like this. Correct. Like a lot what, of people what, are hating on it. What are your thoughts on that? Like, what, okay, what are your initial thoughts when you watched it? Like, did you like it or not? When I saw Iron Man VR, I was like, oh, cool. But then, you know, this is not gameplay video. You know, this is not gameplay. So, okay. Uh, they showed uh, CTR. I'm, 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 Crash you, Team Racing. Yeah, Crash Team Crash Racing. Crash Team Racing. Yeah. I'm excited for that game. Okay. Um, no Man's Sky. I was like, oh, shit. VR. Yeah, okay, I'm really that was hype. For that. Ready, Set Heroes, whatever. Blood and Truth. I was like, oh, shit. That looks cool. Uh, they showed... Uh, uh, observation that looks fucking tight yeah and then they kind of lost me towards the end <laughs> so i don't think i mean i don't know uh, people are hating on it uh, comparing it to uh directs i don't think these people have seen all the directs that i've seen because not every direct has been a fucking hit on the contrary there's been some weak ass uh directs 
especially during E3. Some of the E3 has had uh, Nintendo has shown some of the worst directs during E3. So yeah, but the thing is that this is the Sony's first time though. Because, I get it, and because so, Sony, Sony, and that, they canceled E3, they canceled uh, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation uh, Experience, ex, yeah, Experience last year, and now this is the first time we're seeing them like, okay, we're back. This is what we're gonna do like this coming year, and they're gonna be releasing these like, like throughout the year. And the first one, it was like you ended with the game that's not even an exclusive on your system. Like, correct mm. yeah do i think the structure of it was bad hell yes they and it was, and ended it was super with... heavy on like vr games too yeah and that too i get it a lot of these players aren't vr owners um i but... mean if anything now that i'm thinking about it you can really see this more as an just a big ad just to get a vr like correct. hey guys get this vr but see as like, someone who owns don't worry a VR... about like ps4 pro and like exclu- exclusive games coming like just get vr see as someone who owns a vr Mm-hmm. I was excited for the presentation. I can totally understand someone who doesn't own a VR being pissed. Yeah. Right? Uh, but, you know, you have Days Gone coming. You have Concrete Genie coming. So you have your non-VR stuff coming. Now, it's their first one. that So to me, that gives me even more of an excuse to give them more leeway. Like, did I expect for them to come out and announce all these blockbusters? No. I mean, I think we already had that talk where we already know that, uh, play, uh, you know, Sony's moving on yeah. and developing for the PlayStation 5. So, yeah. um, I mean, my expectations for this was really low anyways to begin with. Yeah. Especially with, the, uh, every, uh, like, all the rumors already that, like, uh, these, stu- these other studios already have the PlayStation 5, like, like prototype, yeah. and they're already developing games yeah, for the correct. next gen. It just seems like this year Sony is, like, they wanted to own – like their own system as in terms of how to like present like what's going to come out so don't go to e3 let's do these little like a nintendo ripoff of uh of the directs and then eventually they're just going to show hey ps5 here you go i agree when i don't know i don't expect 2019 to especially like holiday I mean, they maybe they bring back PSX. They do have that uh that one uh, samurai game coming out. Um, oh uh yeah 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 I know what you're talking about. Oh shoot I know. Yeah, which I'm actually really excited the about. The game by Sucker Punch. Yeah, correct. Um, so maybe that's held off to holidays to be their holiday hit. Um, but I don't I didn't expect much out of this. I understand non view Ghost might be pissed. of Tsushima. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. So that I feel is gonna be their uh their holiday hit, uh and I can't wait for that game. That game looks freaking beautiful. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, I I I understand people that didn't like this presentation. I didn't expect much like you did, and I did like some of the stuff they pop out with uh, VR wise. I thought it was an all right mm-hmm. state of play uh you know presentation. Yeah, I didn't think it was great, or <laughs> I didn't think it was bad. Yeah, I think it was okay. Okay. But I mean, I I, I I think they're gonna take this feedback, and I think they're gonna come out with better ones. Like I said, if you never, I mean, if y'all haven't seen Nintendo Directs, y'all, y'all tripping because there have been some shitty ones. Okay. And I wouldn't say shit about that, so I don't know. I mean, but it's Nintendo, though. You know, <laughs> can't go wrong. They can never yeah, go wrong. That's basically all we have for this week. Anything else you wanna add? Last words? Uh. More selfless, shameless, <laughs> self promotion. My Twitch, my Twitch channel has been popping. I would appreciate people to go watch it. I'm not that good. I'll get better, but I'm so close to affiliate. <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that anymore. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this has been a weird episode, especially for you uh, video viewers. Yeah, we're working on things, trying to make the the videos better for you guys. So just uh, hang in there with us. But thank you guys. Like, subscribe, uh, follow the uh, um, three way podcast on Twitch, uh, YouTube, Apple Podcasts. Uh, follow our our page on Facebook. Like, comment, do anything you can to help yeah, us out. We have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can follow us all there. 
Um, we post our videos on Mondays and Wednesdays, and uh, pretty soon we're going to be doing the cam show, especially since um, Game of Thrones Game of Thrones is coming back. Yep. Can't um, wait. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. Again, sorry for the, like the weirdness of this camera, and then him by himself over there. Uh, just yeah, we're still working on this stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. We appreciate y'all. We love you. Peace. Bye bye.